Hi, welcome to this GDevelop tutorial. Today I'm going to talk about how to make a high score system in GDevelop. Now you might notice right now, uh, I don't really have a game. So let me fix that real quick. Okay, so now we have, I don't even know if I can really call it a game. It's nothing that crazy. You just click the green button, set your score higher, and ready to reset it. It's not really a game, is it? But it's good enough for this tutorial. Next, we need to figure out how are we going to make a high score work? Now, the actual logic behind this is pretty simple. All we're going to do is we're going to compare the values of the score and the high score and if the score is higher than what the high score is, we change the high score to the score value. It's not that crazy. Now what where it kind of gets a little more complicated is when we need to actually store that value and we want to save that even though we open the game, get a high score, close it, we still want the high score to show the same thing. Now say you didn't want that, you're just like, oh I want one instance and I'm fine with it resetting. That's pretty simple to make. So all you have to do is if you go to your scene variables and you make a high score variable so just name it high score make it a number it's not that crazy then we go into our events here if you look here what I'm doing uh, when I hit the button it adds one and it sets the text to the first part which is the score and then the actual variable which is my score variable and we're basically just gonna do that so let's take this function here, the change text of score, but we want a high score, and we want to change the text to high score, obviously, and we want our variable to be high score. Now what we want to do is we want to go into, I believe, advanced, let's see here. And what we're going to do is we're going to find a function that compares two values. So if we just search up here, compare... Exactly, compare two numbers. It's under events and control flow. Our first expression, we need to check if... Score... <clears throat> if our scene variable, or just you just type variable, sorry. Score... Is greater than... Our other variable high score and if that's the case we're gonna add another event in here and all this is gonna say is set variable high score to the value of score so if we look up scene variable go to change the number variable high score equal to variable score. Now if we look here, they go up together. Oh, that's weird. And I reset it. Oh, sorry, real quick here, I made a small mistake. This needs to be greater than or equal to. Sorry about that. Now you'll see they'll go up together. Reset, and it won't go up again until we pass that value. Pretty simple stuff here. Now say you want that to transfer between two scenes. You still want it to reset, but you want to be able to access the high score from another scene. Well, right now we have it as a scene variable. Scene variables don't transfer between scenes. So instead what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to do the exact same thing 
except do it as a global variable. So just make a high score variable. Make it a number yet again, set it to zero. And all you're gonna do is every place where we just use the variable high score, you just make it the global variable high score. And you can access it in other scenes. But right now this is fine. Now the real meat of this is we want this to save because right now if we get a new high score you know we get a high score of 10 right and we close the game it's set back to zero we don't want that we want that to stay now what are we gonna do well now we need to actually save that value to our computer basically what we're doing is instead of sourcing the variable directly at the upfront you know using your ram your real-time memory what you're actually going to do is you're going to go send a call back to the hard drive or to the cache of your browser and you're going to source that value from there and ask the same logic of it so now we need to do the same thing and this will need the scene variable so you want it to be a scene variable high score or it won't work. What you're gonna do is add action. Okay, so what we're going to want to do when we're taking it from, we're going to go to storage. And we have all these. We can write a value, write a text, read a value, read a text, load storage and memory, close the storage. So what we're going to do is when we want, whenever we want to source something, we're going to read it. Or in this case, we're going to use values because we're dealing with numbers. Whenever we want to send something, we're going to write it. So here... We're going to call a storage name. This can be basically anything, but all this is doing is it's telling the hard drive where to look. Okay? The group is doing the same thing. You can do just about anything. You can do just a number. You can do a name. As long as it's consistent. And you need to write what you're actually going to store. So in this case, we're going to store our scene variable. Oh, sorry. <laughs> variable, scene variable, high score. I'm going to store that value. Okay? Now, when we are checking this expression, what we're going to do is we are going to actually... Ref we're actually going to write our high score as the value that we've saved. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> you also need to write the value at the beginning. You always, always need to be writing that text. So, we can just remove that from here. So now, our score actually saves. So we could reset it. But when we come back, close the game, we return, it's still 13. Such a lucky number, isn't it? And yeah, that's how you actually save data. Now, this is super super useful you can use this for way more than high scores high scores are just the simplest because you're dealing with one number you could use this in a game to store the exposition of where a player is going to spawn in you could use this to store the blue boolean value of what things you've collected there's a lot of things you can do this with this and it's a pretty essential skill to understand but yeah this is how you make a high score system in gdevelop it's nothing that crazy and it's pretty simple, especially compared to some other engines. But yeah, I hope you found this useful, insightful. I don't know why you'd find this entertaining, but if you did, that's cool. And yeah, watch another video now. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>